Welcome to Kavas. In this video, we will make full portfolio page by using HTML and CSS. We use Booster 5 and jQuery latest version for creating this portfolio page. We create this full page by section wise. This is the most trending portfolio creative design page. You can use this page as your small company and personal portfolio. Okay, let's see full page. What we will make? At first, navigation bar. This is navigation bar. Here we use the logo in middle point. We have about 8 section in this page. The navigation bar is also animated bar. Then hero section. Here is some text and in the right side I use one image. Then the about section. Here we use 5 about column edging with colorful image. After this is service section. In this service section, I use button and image right side. In the left side, you can see a rocket running by scrolling up. When I scroll the page, the rocket run with scrolling position. Here, you can see three service room. This is the first and this is the second and last. At last, this is one image I used at the end point of service section. Then work section. Here I use 5 different color works list. I use some creative icon to beautify the design. After work section, this is the fact section. Here I also create 5 different color success rate. Here I also use counter number. Then we can see a short, I mean this is client or team section. You can use this section as team or client you may want. Here you can see about 8 members. This is the portfolio section. In this portfolio section I use filterable tab. You can filter as your category by just clicking the tab list. When I click the tab list it filters the result. It can filter as category and group. This is the testimonial section. I use this modern type of image carousel by using boost of carousel. You can slide the item by clicking the image. Here you can see when I click one, it slides perfectly. At last we can see this is the contact section. I create this Chrome based contact form. And after contact form I create an addressed bar. Here I give some contact information like email phone and website in a row then i use social media icon this is the social media link bar and at the bottom bar this is copyright text in canvas text we link up main canvas site you can visit this site and youtube channel also okay go to the top section i mean hero section okay let's see with navigation bar this is also clickable. When you click one navigation list, it will take you in desert section. Every single item works perfectly. We can see it's perfectly work. When I click logo, it takes me top of the page. Okay, in this video, I create only hero section. In this section, we can see at the top side, this is a navigation bar. This section is very simple. In this section, we can see in left side, some text and in right side, one image. That's it. Okay, let's go. First of all, create one folder. Here my folder name is portfolio page. Under portfolio page, I create one new folder. Name this folder asset. Create a CSS folder under asset folder, then one JS folder. Okay, we create folder successfully. Now go to the code editor. Here I use VS Code for writing the code. VS Code is the best code editor. In VS Code you can find million of extensions for speed up your code. You can download VS Code, search VS Code and go to the first link. You can download it for Mac and Linux also. Download it and install it. After installing open VS Code. Then open folder. You can also open folder here. Simply click open folder. I open my folder. Here we can see our created folder list. Then add file index.html. One new file named style.css. Under JS folder, we create one new file named script.js. 
Okay, we created all things. In this video, I use live stream extension. You can add this from here, search and install it. This extension helped me to see what we changes in code without refreshing the page. When I save the code, it automatically refreshes the page. Okay, I use Booster 5 to create this portfolio page. I have to download Booster file. Simply go to browser and search for Booster. Go to the first link, click download. Go to download location and extract the file. Delete the zip file. Here is two folder. Go to CSS folder. Find bootstrap.min.css and copy it. Paste it in CSS folder that we create under asset folder. Go to JS folder and copy bootstrap.min.js file. Paste the JS folder under SS folder. Then go to browser to download latest version of jQuery. Search jQuery and go to first link. Click download and click first production link. Click right button and click save as page. Select JS folder under SS folder. And then save. Now we successfully gather all asset file. In this page we use different image. You can download the image from Mega. I will give the download link in description box. Download it and go to download location. Extract img zip file. Copy img folder and paste it in asset folder. In IMG folder, we can see all the image we need in building this portfolio page. Okay, we are ready to write in code. Go to VS Code, go index.html. Write code. Write HTML and select HTML5 to import the HTML document layout. In title, write your own title. Then add favicon icon. This is favicon icon that we show browser title bar. Give the source. Then link up our asset file. First link up style.css. Then link up bootstrap.min.css. We successfully link up our asset file. Then we have to link up JS file. Add JS file above body in tag. Type script and select it. Keep the jQuery source at first. Remember you have to give jQuery at the top of the list. Then add list JS file. Simply type script and give the source. And at bottom we have to add script.js. Okay, we add all JS file also. To create this project, I use two fonts. One is Monsart and other is the Open Sans. To link up this font, go to browser and search Google Fonts. Search Monsart and select the font. Now we have to select the style. Select regular style, medium style, semi bold, and bold. Then go back and search Open Sans. Here select Light Style and Bold Style. Copy this link text and paste it in Height tag. Ok, we are almost ready. Now mark up the hero section. This is actually header tag. Write the code, write header and after header insert dot for class and insert hash for id. Create one div with container class and insert row div. Call md12. Oh, one mistake. Add a nap tag before container div. Now add navbar div and add unordered list with class nav menu. Li and insert anchor tag. 
write section ID with hash and list item hello duplicate it and write about services works I reserve this for logo then add fax client word contact change section IT as well In logo list we give header ID because we want to take the page top when we click the logo. Change the list section ID as well. Now add IMG tag for logo. Keep the logo source. This is logo source. Okay, I am coming after setup result environment. Open the live server. Then we have to mark up hero section. In hero section, we can see some text and one image only and go button. Insert div with hero section class. Container div and row div. Column d5 and insert div with hero text class. Type text design and insert VR tag. Here we can see the result. Let me set up all things. Type coffee and insert VR tag. Music and last code. After call md5 in tag insert call md7 div hero img class div and insert the image with img tag give the image source here we can see text and image is marked up by html now add go button after row in div add new class and insert the image The arrow button color is white, there so you can't see the image. Now we have to add style with CSS code. Go to style.css. Here we have to write some common CSS for the whole project. Add CSS for body. Copy font family from Google Fonts. Paste it. And add one more overflow property. For paragraph or p tag, paste open sans font family. Then add body h1, h2, h3, h4, h5, h6, ul, p. Margin will be 0, padding also will be 0. For ul tag, list style will be none. For a tag, text decoration will be none also. For anchor focus, outline will be none and border will be none. We have written all the common CSS. Now write CSS for header section, comment out it. For nav tag, position will be fixed. From top 0, from left 0, width will be 100%, add background color, Z index will be 999, height will be auto. We can see the background has changed. Now add CSS for this nav menu, write nav menu with dot, add for li tag and for anchor tag also. In ally tag display will be inline block. We can see the list item is now inline. 
in NavMinio, text align will be center. In AlliTech, margin will be 0 and 10 pixel. List item now separated from one another. Go to A tag. Front weight will be 600. Color will be white. Font size will be 15 pixel. Now write CSS for logo image. Here we add IMG tag with logo image. This is that logo image list. Add CSS. Width will be 65%. Transition 0.3 second. Cubic base here 0.545. 0.05,1 The navigation bar successfully designed. Now we have to style the hero section. We have to style this text and this image as well. Grab the hero section class, write hero section. Add background color, padding top will be 10.8 em. Grab this hero text and write it at CSS. Font weight will be 700. Font size will be 3 em. Text transform will be upper crease. Line height will be 1.2. Color will be white. Padding top 6 rem. Margin left 3 rem. This is perfectly designed. Now style this hero image at CSS. Width will be 370 pixel, margin left will be auto. And the image will be width 100%, height 100%. This is not working. I think I mistake somewhere. Investigating it, here I write only mg instead of img. Add i before mg and save it. The image also perfectly designed. We have to style this arrow button, grave arrow button class, and write it in a style.css. Position will be absolute. From bottom, zero. Left, 50%. Transform will be translate x minus 50%. Okay, this is come to right place. For a small screen, it show middle of this section, but when you maximize the screen, it come to perfect place. And the image width will be 18 pixel. Okay, perfect. We successfully created the header section. In the next video, we create a post section and add animation to navigation bar. Stay tuned. Please subscribe our channel to never miss our new idea.